Today, I review one of my most anticipated movies of 2022, The Batman. Directed by Matt Reeves and starring Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz, and Paul Dano, we follow a relatively young Batman as he follows the clues of a sadistic serial killer known only as the Riddler. Yes, I want this. For a while now, people have been asking for a darker, more gritty version of Batman, and this movie delivers to perfection. And I'm not taking anything away from the previous Batman films, but this movie just felt like the first time I've seen an emotionally unstable Batman, and that's secretly what I always wanted. He takes out all of his childhood trauma on criminals using brutal beatdowns, and he refuses to have healthy social relationships with people. Now that's Batman. This movie does a great job of getting me deep into the mindset of Batman so I could truly connect with and understand him in ways that I wasn't able to in the previous Batman movies. I also really enjoyed how this movie explores the other aspects of Batman that we haven't seen in film before, like him being the world's greatest detective. This movie is basically a noir film and much of it is spent on Batman trying to solve puzzles and examining crime scenes so he can figure out who and where the Riddler is. The moments where Batman is at a crime scene with Jim Gordon were some of my favorites in the movie because one, I love mysteries being solved, and two, it was just so cool seeing Batman catch all the things that the police missed and figuring out the whole thing by himself because that was a huge part of his character. He's the world's greatest detective and this movie portrayed that brilliantly. I gotta talk about that sexy soundtrack. It has to be my favorite soundtrack for a Batman movie ever because it perfectly sets the tone for the movie especially during scenes when batman's walking towards the bad guys out of the shadows then the soundtrack starts kicking up and i can't describe in words what the music does but i can use my body it's just like just duh, 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 duh. And, I'm, and i'm starting to get angry and vengeful it's like it's giving me batman's soul i can feel all of it it makes me want to fight criminals I'm not gonna fight criminals because I'm really sensitive, but this soundtrack just pumps me up. I hope it wins a bunch of awards because it just hits differently. What I'm most happy about the Batman though is the near perfection that these actors perform their roles. To name a few, you have Colin Farrell as the Penguin and what a transformation. Cause Farrell is completely unrecognizable as he brought out the hardcore gangster that makes Penguin so formidable as a villain. And the dedication it took for him to go through all that makeup and prosthetics just to give us this fun performance deserves all my respect. Then you have Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman and she was born to play this role because she has all the skill, the charm, and the swag that this character requires. And I'm excited to see her come back in the eventual sequels because she, she was just great. And then you have Paul Dano, and oh my god, he was so creepy as the Riddler. And I mean that in the best way possible. It was a slightly different take on the character, but he still captured the intelligent insanity of the Riddler wonderfully. I couldn't help but be fascinated by him. Finally, you have the Batman himself, Robert Pattinson. And I personally think he was the perfect choice of playing a young Batman slash Bruce Wayne. Because I loved how he portrayed how emotionally numb Batman is as a character. This movie takes place just two years into Bruce Wayne being Batman. He's still relatively new at this, and he's still filled with rage over the murder of his parents, so everything else is getting pushed away. And because he's pushing everything away, Bruce Wayne becomes a recluse, and Robert Pattinson does an amazing job of showing that. He would have Bruce Wayne do things like have awkward social interactions or shy away from sunlight or just have difficulty connecting with people in general because his mind is just so focused on being Batman. There's this one scene in the movie that solidified Robert Pattinson as my favorite Batman actor and it's when him and Catwoman are having a moment and Batman starts to lean in like he's gonna kiss her but then at the last second he like stops and looks up at the bat signal and just totally swerves her. I almost cheered in the theater when I saw that because that was the Batman that I loved from the comics. Justice first, meaningful relationships, never. I loved it. One issue that I had with the Batman is that it spent a lot of screen time on Batman and Catwoman's relationship. Now don't get me wrong, I liked them together, but I would have rather watched more scenes between Batman and Alfred. I think their relationship is more important to Batman than Catwoman's, at least in the beginning of Batman's career. 
Alfred is the father figure of Bruce Wayne. He's the day one homie, yet he's not really in this movie. Like, he has a couple of scenes, but then he just goes somewhere else. My other issues with the movie is when Bruce Wayne was present on the screen. And I know I said that I loved how Pattinson brought the socially distant side of the character to life, but that came with the side effect of Bruce Wayne talking very quietly. He was always whispering, and it was during scenes where important plot details were being discussed. So I would lean forward on my scene like, bro, speak up. You're Batman. Put some bass in your voice. What is the verdict? The Batman was well worth the wait. It does a beautiful job of creating a darker story, but still maintaining its soul. I was heavily invested into the characters, the action was epic, and the ending brought me to tears. If you're a Batman fan, you cannot miss this movie. Because the Batman isn't a B-Town movie, it's an A-Town movie. So the Batman, did you see it? What'd you think about it? What is your all-time favorite Batman movie? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this review and you want to see more, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. Now hit the theme music.